Hello, this is Darkon, and this is War for the Overworld, Episode 3. Let's cause some trouble. Revenge is a dish best served cold, Underlord, but we're a bit lacking in refrigeration. The traitorous coward Marcus has made a deal with the Empire to save his own revolting hide. He defends the final inhibitor. And, in exchange, the Empire's dogs leave him to cower behind his dungeon's walls. Get in there, Underlord, and tear it all down! Naturally, it wouldn't be a proper war for the overworld without you having to fight against other Underlords. Lies the traitorous Underlord Marcus. Why does his dungeon heart look so much better than ours? He has pledged to protect this inhibitor with his life, having convinced the Empire that he means them no harm. The pathetic little turd shouts. This uneasy peace has lasted too long. Vanquish this traitorous Underlord and destroy the inhibitor he protects. This place is riddled with brimstone. Its hardened exterior will be impossible to mine using conventional means. But we have other forms of excavation. Yes, we do. Open the veins of evil and unlock the Underminer. The Underminer excels at blasting through large chunks of earth. See for yourself by building one near your dungeon core. Unlike defenses, constructs can be placed on neutral territory and in water. Once you have laid the blueprint down, your workers will channel your unholy energies to construct them. Construct complete. Your underminer is ready to be activated. Click it to start the show. Ah, and everything goes. I should have mentioned. Boom. Brimstone is a fairly volatile substance. Now that you're out, look east to see an abandoned beast den. You can use the wooden bridge to span your dungeon across water. Build one to the island in order to claim the beast den. This room will allow bloodthirsty beasts to enter your dungeon. Unlike normal minions, beasts cannot work nor train themselves in your barracks. They wish only to strip the flesh from your enemies. In addition, they do not require payment or a lair, and they are more than happy to eat micro piglets straight from your slaughter pen. No However, argue. these unfortunate creatures care not for their own lives, and will fight until their last breath. They cannot be saved if they fall in battle. Now, arguably, beasts are better than the normal minions in some cases. An Oculus has entered your dungeon. The Oculus is a master of the mind. If it encounters an enemy, it will assault their senses, temporarily turning them into a vegetable. <laughs> Outside of battle, the Oculus will explore the depths of the underworld, relaying back what it sees to you and to its eldritch hive mind. Look, it's a baby beholder. The Skarg is a deceptively cute beast that prefers the flesh of wolves above all and can be trained to fetch and return eyeballs. You can rally all of your beasts to battle using the Beast Rally Flag. Use your newfound powers and the formidable strength of your beasts to destroy Underlord Marcus and the Empire force he colludes with. You've encountered an Empire patrol. No sense in letting them get away now, is there? Ah, there they are. Oh, 
let's make sure our beasts are low. Give them a few heals if they need it. Naturally, the beasts do hit hard, pretty hard. The Oculus will wander absolutely everywhere. But they're also pretty good for harassment because they will attack. They'll conti we'll continuously attack different things and so on if they see them. Some areas. The enemy. Yes, yes, I know. Like this here is what I meant. You can just leave them alone and they'll just continually attack different things if they see them. Mm, yep, that's far enough. What else do we need? Let's shed a little light. I don't want that one. To quickly add plots of land to your dungeon, you can use an outpost, which will claim tiles in a 3x3 three three radius once constructed. from here. Your minions are in combat. And we'll build a bridge over this way. And where else? Let's make sure they have some food, so... A couple of things of micro piglets. And in between... Let's put some gold. There we go, plenty of room. Room there, and of course, naturally, we're going to get this one as well. That's ah, lots of room here. We can build something here. Of course, naturally, you don't need to get every little bit of gold from here and there. Like I said, I usually just leave some stuff like this alone unless I absolutely need it. Continue to build up across here. Mine this bit. And of course, naturally, the Oculus will give them. Well, actually, two of them. Both of them will give the run around. We can just leave those ones alone. It's not a big deal, even if you lose them. Get some bedding in. And we'll put in a nice. We'll put in an archive. Right around here should do it. We 
we have more room in case we need it. And we'll put in... Whoop, oh, a little too far there. Your minions are fighting the enemy. Plenty of room for a training hall. Enough, yep, and now he won't move. They have two of them together. They should be able to attacked. take care of him pretty quickly. Or rather, pretty easily. He said for the beasts and such, though, a lot of them wander around and just do. Essentially, whatever. Yeah. But, again, it's not a bad thing in this case because it'll just keep them occupied, Your destroy them, different attack. things. Let's mine out a bit this year. And put a few more bridges down here and there. That should help with that. And let's see what's on this side. Not too much. Oh, nope. Something right there. You definitely want to get artifacts when you can. Because, like I said before, they can hold powerful, well, artifacts. Mine that out. In some cases, you don't really need walls for anything at all. And let's see, we're still going to need a bit of room for a... Ah, perfect. We'll do it over here. And let's build a foundry. Just a couple of them will do. Yeah, he'll say random things like that. Let's put a few more beds here and there. And let's see, we'll put a tavern up around here somewhere. Hmm. No, he just screwed that up. Can't be there. Oh, we didn't waste too much gold. It does need to be up around here, though. And let's continue with a little sightseeing. Your minions are under attack. Your minions are under attack. Yeah, it's gonna keep saying that over and over and over. There we go, I should do that. And I do believe that something is... Let's see. Nope. Same right around where the red is, that's where the brimstone is. So in case we need to get a shortcut through. Or rather, the only real way through. Planet Underminer, blow that up, and then we got a straight shot into here. Which will actually be our next objective. After we build some defenses here and there. I think some defenses up here will do. Just gotta make sure you get them in the right spot. Yep. Right around here ought to do. building again. Oh yeah. Can't forget this. Nice tavern. And we'll have to mine this one out. Of course we can also extend it this way. And our artifact is instantly completes all constructs. Now that one's a pretty good. So say I put down 20 bombards if I can. I click on that, 
it'll instantly complete all of them. Pretty powerful. But again, you'd have to place them all down and you'd still have the mana lock. Let's place a few down here and there. You're out of gold, Underlord. Or not. So, let's mine some easy gold. Not that. Not as easy as you might think. This, however, is real easy. And there's quite a bit of it. So what am I saying? Yeah. I suppose we can go for that. Country gold and it should. Yeah. Actually, no, 400 for each bridge. And that'll give us about a thousand, so it's about yeah, 600. Of course, we can also go for these ones. And of course, naturally, the minions will also carry those things and bring them up here for them. Well, here we are. Let's see if they're close enough. Nope. Your minions are in combat. Let's give it a little heal. Your minions are being attacked. He did not pick the one up from here, so let's drop this over this way. Your minions are under attack. Defense complete. Yeah, it doesn't help if defense is complete, but you guys aren't digging up the gold so I can build more of them. Or did you? Oh, I think you might have. In this one, like it shows, basically it forces it to ignore all the needs. So if it needs food or it wants to be paid, you use this and it will ignore that for a short amount of time. And then of course it will go right back to needing it again. The Underminer is pretty much only useful for certain parts. Not exactly the greatest one out of all of them, but I believe we got some more we can unlock. Like the warding totem or the outpost. Still, I've never seen much, too much use in the outpost, but it's mostly for, say, minions going across the water, building it, and then you don't need to build a bridge. But again, let's see how much it costs. Your minions are in combat. Yeah, 5,000 gold. So, unless you're claiming it a very far ways away. Not terribly much of a point, but pretty much that pretty much is the point. And just watch them kick this thing's butt. Yep, I didn't take long. Well, to be fair, it didn't have much health. Your minions are under attack. But now we have a few more, a bit more gold. Let's build a few more bombards in a couple of places. Make there. That will prevent if anything comes through there, which they do. Well, they won't have a good day. And let's put one there. Another one there. And that should do plenty for our defenses. But let's try construction anyways, just for the fun of it. Click on that. Well, oh. that bugged out. Bombard complete. 
Unfortunately, when I clicked on it, the game did spaz out a little bit for a second there, so unfortunately it did not actually work. Which again, I did not save to an earlier thing, so again, it's not... It sucks. Remember that? Always save. Another thing for like this one, our effective sin gives you one extra sin. Again, at some times in the game, it's not terribly useful. Because a lot of these are unlocked automatically, or pretty quickly. Enrage. Again, the warding totem, not... I didn't find terribly useful. Again, it's something that you would do on very hard gameplay, or maybe you put them up farther up, or you playing for say multiplayer and such, it would be useful then. But on the campaign, it doesn't have much use. Did we have anything we did not build? No, but let's expand our little, uh... Let's expand, let's just dig this whole thing out. Build a bridge overwards after they finish that. Finish digging all this out. Actually, we will build another beast den here. With an extra beast den, it will help quite a bit, actually. Primarily because, just like with dungeon, well, with the gateways, the more gateways you have, if you lose minions, it will allow more minions to come in through quickly, more quickly. So again, like if you have two of these, and you separate them just by a little bit, you'll have two of the gateways. You lose a little bit for the amount that you have, but they will show up quicker. And in some parts of the game, that is quite beneficial. And I just well wasted all of our gold. Summon in a couple of minions just to uh oh, wrong button there. Your minions are being attacked. There's four minions just for pretty much the express purpose of taking up some gold. Again, like I said before, it takes them a while to get up the amount of gold that they need. Or rather to, that they can so they can deliver it. When going up for the bigger ones, they'll fill up pretty quickly. In this case, like you can see there, it takes quite a bit longer time. But it's worthwhile because you always will have gold. You never have to worry about running out. And in some cases, that's pretty much exactly what you need. Because otherwise, all the games would be on timer because your minions want gold. Or if you do, or it prevents you from just using strictly the beast den. Which again Your kind of sucks because despite how good they are, they're not always the absolute best. Like you still want to get your cultists in to help debilitate the enemies Defense. or the Narlinks just simply because they're pretty more or less cannon fodder. Your of course naturally Chundars to build things. And of course minions later on which proved to be very useful. We should see them in another, in another Your gameplay or two. Yes, yes, I hear you. They're always saying that. So maybe well, the bombards built. So the next thing we'll end up doing is going straight for this one over here. First, let's build a bit of a bigger beast den. Now we can have more beasts. Oh, and we 
completely forgot about this. Yeah, all that time it was completely useless. Fun. And let's see where well, we can build that beast stand again. Yeah, the second one will be up here. have enough to start it up. 48. No, that's a little too much. Kind of want to, but we'll just we'll just stick with that. Let's start rallying every all the minions. Now the big difference is if you just want the beasts Again, you can just go Rally Beasts. Of course, for Rally Minions, it's really just all of them. Every one that you have. It doesn't work perfectly because, you know, if the minion's still attacking something, it'll usually continue to attack it for at least for a little while. And I completely forgot we need the Underminer first, so we're just going to slap that off. Because naturally, we can't really get through this. And it's the easiest way for them to actually get through. But we have enough, so again, we need to build that. And I think we have enough gold to expand the beast ten again. Your minions are under attack. Yes, yes, I know. They're always under attack. Perfect. That didn't take long. Of course, naturally, we got some extra minions to help out with that. It explodes. Now we go attack. Again, sometimes it is gonna be better just to wait until a lot of the minions gather. You, you can't continue, can attack right away, but some of them are slower or they're much farther away. So like if you want these ones here, they'll show up late they'll show up later, but you still want excuse me. Yeah, you'll still want some of them. Like I said, it's good to have the pulses around. Of course naturally the beasts move can move pretty quickly. But I don't believe there's Let's just clear out the outside here. We might have actually already pretty much killed all of the enemies. Just by having the Oculus harass everything. Nope, not quite. Well, it's not really much of an enemy. Huh, everything's a lot smoother. The first time I played this, this was much, much laggier. Usually with important distinctions that whenever there's a lot of these, it caused a lot of lag, but in this case it's actually working pretty well. Let's heal a few of them. Not entirely necessary, but it's always a good idea to make sure they're going to be alive for a while. Oh, something came to attack us. That's very smart. Let's just lead into that, and since we have plenty of gold now, as you can see there, it's gone up quickly. Let's get an underminer right around here. And let's make sure our minions get out of the way. Continue on with the attack towards this one here. We'll just let them do that. I'll build another bridge. Again, minions don't necessarily need the bridges, but it does make some things easier. 
isn't because a lot of them like this, instead of going across there like they can, as we've seen before, they will take the path of least resistance. In this case, a bridge. Underminer's complete, so let's blow this up. And so we can claim this. This doesn't need an underminer, but we just want to make sure it's clear so the little imps don't get themselves killed outright. Oh, there's something over there we can we can claim. And it looks like it's already been pretty clear. So since they've since they've done their job, we can slap it there. No, that's useful. It's basically saying that the minions will dig through these much quicker, as there are more of them. But in this case, we're just gonna we can click on that to unclaim the, or rather, to stop. Excuse me. To basically stop the rally all minions flag, since the minions don't really need any help at the moment. And the only other one, I believe, is... Yep, right up there. So actually, let's start claiming a few more tiles up here. Oh, wrong one. It's Friday. So, this shouldn't be too bad. We'll just... It'll increase our view, and also if they come across our own tiles, we can give them a quick lightning bolt. And also so we can build a bridge across. Claim it, and then we can go hurt Marcus. Of course, we got lots of gold now, so I think we can stop for the moment. And let them do some better work. such random things he will say. Yeah, where are the minions? Great, they're all claiming the other one. Let's force a few of them to actually work here. No, I don't want that. There. Now start claiming stuff. And then with the can, we will build a bridge across here. Since the minions have already been paid. Well, let's dig this out just for the hell of it. Put a nice rally flag. Go up there, and we might be able to make a straight beeline for Marcus. Look at them go. That's why I like the Oculus a bit. A beast, again, they won't train norm they won't train in a normal fashion that comes later on. But since the Oculus roams around and just hits things at a distance and can essentially like show and stun some of them, they can gain their levels pretty decently. So like five, six. Those are pretty good for those. Having it actually before we do, let's take a look at a few possessions. Nope. Wrong button. We don't want to recall. I want this one. Let's see. Let's go in the mine of an Oculus. Well, that's a different view, isn't it? There's the roof. Basic attack. Bolt. Number two. The petrified thing. Number three is the central thing, so they don't get anything extra. Still, that's not bad. Let's try another one. 
let's go with let's find a nice leveled ah star. Oh look at that. Let's see our pincers. Let's see. Basic. Not bad. Lunge and of course ah oh, there we go. That's a useful thing. I should remember that. Regenerative tissue. Now some of these things haven't done possessions on all of them before. But since we are since we are just wasting our time, let's continue on with attacking this area. Again, let's try to remember that. There is... Possession isn't too bad. Just for in some cases, it doesn't... It's not as useful... Well, say, it's not entirely a incredibly useful thing, but it's fun. at the moment. Not for long. I said for some of their levels, it's not really a big deal, especially since I can kill them. Level 4, and even, like, so you'll see stuff like level 10 in these ones. They'll take them down no problem. It's not just simply numbers, it's just in some cases it feels like they're weaker. I ran out of mana. The Empire presence is fish food. Well done. Let's make sure to take out those defenses, otherwise they're just going to continue to hurt, well... These things are essentially, you don't really see them doing any spinning blades thing. But basically when you attack them, they hit back. And let's... no, I believe that's everything here. Let's take a quick look around. Let's see, I believe I might be... Let's just let our minions go back home for a bit. Let them regen up. Wait until after the next payday so we don't have to worry. And plus, well, as you can see, all the little piglet signs you get that you show on them every so often, it means they're hungry. If it shows a gold coin, it means they want money. And of course, naturally, the Z's the or Z's, depending on your preference. Well, obviously, they're tired. In some cases, they just don't go anywhere. And this is why recall is around. If they're stuck, or just whatever happens. Mm. Doesn't look like any other ones are that lost. Let's continue to poke around. No, that's the edge. Again, sometimes you'll find some interesting artifacts off on the edges, or in this case, something like that. Now that thing is useful for essentially, well, exactly what it's supposed to be. If you want minions to show up around here, they will show up. Huh? Of course, naturally, you will need to provide for them. Oh, there it is. Let's see what that one is. First, I'll have to build some bridges. Here we go. That should do it. 
Let's build another one up towards there, I believe. And of course, it's just to repair for later on. Let's build a underminer. We won't use that until we're ready. Of course, he'll go up there, and if he doesn't claim it, we will grab it ourselves and put it all the way down. Underminer complete. Perfect. Now the optional ones aren't really necessary, like I never bother with the build and outpost, because it just seemed unnecessary. Of course destroy brimstone, that's part of the actual bit there. Again, I think for that you don't actually have to, just simply because, well, you can probably dig through these, although it would take longer. I'm gonna dig this part out. And then they should be able to claim up towards. Again, as soon as we start attacking, however, they will. The enemy can cast lightning bolts at us. And you remember how devastating those are when we use them. You guys are taking too long. I'm stealing this. All the way down here. Nope, right about there. Where's the cultists? You. Work on this. I never get hungry in here for some reason. Probably because I force you to. And again, now that we, because we got four of these, all four can train, gain levels. Let's guess a few heal spells are randomly around. Of course. Again, some spells you don't necessarily need to use, or they're not quite as, I didn't find quite as good, because between Enrage, which increases the damage and such. I prefer using the heal myself just simply because it'll make them last longer. Kind of obvious. And of course, naturally, the cultist wants to be paid. You've been paid. I'm back to work. Nope. Why don't you come back? Oh, maybe he's going back by himself. He is. Good boy. It's not a dog, but still. Mm. Mm, let's. Oh. I feel like for the wall, for these ones. Snakes. Minotaurs. Unfortunately, I'll say right now, there are no Minotaurs. Not yet. There is going to be expansions, however, or rather DLC. I don't know how much they're going to cost, if whatever will be free. Hmm, what the hell just happened there? Bugged out a little. There we go. Again, it's a bit of t attention to detail. Especially when you realize that this thing is not, a f is not flat. It does have complete textures, th a bit 3D here and there. A little bit of detail. Ah, there's another good one. Uh, let's use it anyways. Actually, no, we'll wait. We'll use it when we attack. Which, screw it, let's attack right now. Summon up the minions. Now, a good way to do it, if you need to, is since we do claim the area, just, you can click on these ones. You can only carry so many at a time, however. 
I believe the maximum is 10. Because naturally you see we got 10 there, so we can just drop them there. For quick transport. Especially for the slower ones like the Chungars. See there, that was the lightning bolt it can cast on us. Primarily what we want to do is pretty much just do as much damage as we can as quickly as possible. since we can actually do, we can only do so much at the moment. So we do have to use the other bit there, but we will, you know, weaken some of their defenses here and there. So for that, go across here. And of course, we can't forget, we do have the heal spell. And of course, naturally, some of the minions will not do what they're told. Everything on the land, so we're pretty. We can go here to be pretty safe. Not enough man. We do want the minions to claim things like this. That way. Once we finish claiming that, we will build the underminer there. Now we can build it with impunity, 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 that's right. Now of course naturally since a lot of our little imps have died to lightning bolts, we have gone back to our normal amount. Not that we need that many anyways, we've got plenty of gold and we're about to destroy a treacherous underlord. Of course, naturally, every underlord is treacherous. We're not good guys. We're bad. Pretty obvious, but still. And actually, if we if the imps claim tiles like these, it is now ours. There we go. Now let's go destroy that. Of course, naturally, you see the blue there. That his rally flag, which. He doesn't have too many minions left to actually worry about. But since some of them are sleepy and want to eat, let's use that. And now they're all perfectly happy. That should be just about gone. There we go, there's the health. And we'll keep some gnarling there. Losing the possession is okay, but injuring these things you really want if you if you really want to just start using things like this. So let's quickly continue on and just put the hurt on Marcus. Your minions and of course whatever attacked. minions that look at that, so many of them in every hit and they're just destroying his defenses. Oh, look. Oh, well, poor Marcus. I would say it's sad to see you go, but you are right, right. No, 
know as good as Crick is the king, but still. Come on, you're all going the wrong way. You better start doing this. We're taking a bit of damage here and there. Yeah, in some cases you can just pretty much randomly click and you'll you'll get them. Specifically the defenses. The cannon. Go into the dungeon hard. Start whacking. And if you put the gun, if you put the right flag right on something, they should prioritize the attack on that. I can take that. Fast approaching. Well, of course. The ego battles. Can you feel it tugging? If you attack them quickly, like this, you'll beat, you'll beat all their voices. Now that his core is a smoldering ruin, there are other matters that need your attention. The Underlord Rascos was locked in a scrap with a gaggling of greasy midgets. But his sense got silent. Get over there. Find out what the hell is going on. That does not sound pleasant, greasy midgets. Or the gaggling part, you can decide. A job well done, Underlord. Marcus's shattered spirit will not soon forget the price of his cowardice. Now that the inhibitors all lay broken, only one final snag prevents us burning the heart of their life. Although, to be fair, I think what he was referring to was the dwarves. Again, not exactly a pleasant thought. However, this is the end of episode 4 of Overlook of War for the Overworld. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I actually did enjoy doing the recording for this. If you like the videos, please like, fave, subscribe, leave a comment below. Every little bit helps. After all, people want to improve. And, you know, it just is, it helps people to say, hey, you're doing okay. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. This is Darkon, and I'll see you later. Bye.